Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to talk about perpendicularity and perpendicular lines, rays, and segments. Well, what does perpendicularity mean? And what what does perpendicular, what do perpendicular lines, rays, or segments indicate? A perpendicular line, ray, or segment is a line, ray, or segment that intersects at a right angle. So we know that in this case, in the left-hand side in black, I have line A and line B. And I'm given that A is perpendicular to B, so this symbol here means perpendicular. So A is perpendicular to B, which means that they intersect at right angles. So all the angles that are formed by the intersection of A and B form 90 degree or right angles. In this case, I have two lines or two segments that intersect at a right angle. So just this angle itself is a right angle. And then I can also have two rays that intersect at right angles. CA is perpendicular to BD. So I know that in this case, all four of these angles are going to be right angles. So what kind of assumptions can we make about perpendicular lines in a diagram? Well, if I'm given, as in the first example in 1A, that A is perpendicular to B, then I know that the lines intersect at right angles and are 90 degrees by definition. But if I'm not given that information, how can I make an assumption about whether lines or arrays or segments intersect at right angles? Well, in a diagram, if there is this box that's in the corner that represents the angle, then I can say that the two segments, in this case, intersect at right angles. If there isn't a box, or isn't a symbol indicating uh, two perpendicular lines or a right angle, then you cannot assume from the diagram that the two segments intersect at a right angle and are per perpendicular to each other. Okay, so some other things you need to know about perpendicular lines is that the slopes of perpendicular lines have our opposite reciprocals of each other. Now, what does that mean? That means if the slope of one of the lines is two thirds, and the slope of the other line means that it's perpendicular to that other line, then the slope will be the opposite, which means the sine will be opposite, and then it will be the reciprocal. So it will be the reciprocal of the other value. So if the original line, the slope of the original line is 2 thirds, and the slope of the other line that intersects that original line is negative 3 halves, then I know the slopes of the two lines are opposite reciprocals, and I know that those two lines are perpendicular to each other. Now, if they have the same slope, that means that they're parallel to each other. So in this case, on the original line, if I had a slope of a line with 2 thirds and another slope of a second line with 2 thirds, I can say that the two lines are either identical or they're parallel to each other. 